20 seconds from release. Ten, five, three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition. Good control. Trimming, that's turning, pulling the nose up. And trim is set. We're now traveling at approximately Mach 1.4. There's max Q, that's the maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs at the moment. The trim is complete and Unity is in the vertical headed towards space. Mach 2. Mach 2.8, rocket motor cutoff. Amazing. All right. Predicted apogee today is 275,000 feet. That's 84.3 kilometers. Incredible. Our mission specialists have been cleared to unstrap and enjoy the zero-G experience. This is amazing. This, what you're seeing is uh, Colonel Villa Day going to the back to tend to the payloads that are mounted on the rack. You can see Landolfi and Leo starting their experiments in their seat and having, it looks like, a great time, <laughs> of course. Yep. The feather is moving, as you can see. Starting that backflip maneuver I spoke of, the feather is now fully up. Amazing. And viva la Italia! This is 100 years for the Italian Air Force. So happy centennial to the Air Force. This is absolutely incredible. And welcome to space astronauts. We have uh, achieved apogee at 85.1 kilometers or 279,000 feet. Incredible. The pilots are currently doing the, completing the backfield maneuver. Uh, orienting the vehicle for re-entry. Now, just before 0.1 Gs, the pilots will give that return to, uh, uh, return to seats call to the mission specialists. And our training team has worked this portion of the flight out so that it's very natural and intuitive for our passengers. You know, when we talk about space travel, a lot of people know and they expect the boost portion of flight to be loud and thrilling. And of course it is. But what's interesting is that the re-entry is actually very similar. So as supersonic air flowing over our vehicle in the feathered configuration, shock waves form on top of the cabin, and those are audible to those inside. And for those of you on site here at Spaceport America watching from the ground, you should hear a double sonic boom as Spaceship Unity once again breaks the sound barrier. We're currently at Mach 2.5. Incredible. And just back to 1G as we begin reentry. And those views are just absolutely Amazing. Yes. So for reentry, we're now at um, about 3.6 Gs uh, for those on board. The crew will um, orient the attitude of the spaceship so that when we come out of reentry and feather down, we'll be uh, pointed toward spaceport. We're now subsonic. And, and at 75,000 feet. And the unique uh, part of our design is as a, as a vehicle that can get into this con feathered configuration, we're a glider, we're, we're a rocket, we're a glider, and we're a capsule at the right phases of flight that help our unique design be, be safe and effective for the mission it's at. That's right. We're at 61,000 feet now, continuing to descend in the feathered configuration. When we get down to about 53,000 feet, the pilots will lower command lower of the feather again and turn reconfigure the vehicle back into a glider. The views are just so incredibly amazing all the way down and it's just part of each phase of flight has its unique experience 
Mm -hmm. It has the ability to also conduct science. Our payloads that are on the rack are conducting and recording data all the way through each phase of flight. So you get hypergravity and, and low gravity data and that transition in between. The feather is almost completed the feather down. It is now down and locked. Those watching from Spaceport America, now is a great time to go outside. Unity will be coming into view and you can cheer on the crew as they return to Earth. Over the threshold, that's the beginning of the runway. And you'll see the pilots hold the nose up. That's a uh, flare maneuver, all part of the energy management. Main gear touchdown. So the pilots will continue to hold the nose gear in the air as we continue to bleed off some energy as we run down the runway. And at the designated airspeed, they will lower the nose gear as well. Nose gears down. Now, as our ground speed slows, when we reach a designated ground speed, the pilots will apply the brakes and bring the vehicle to a complete stop. All right, braking now. And there's wheel stop. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful landing and a perfect way to complete our first commercial flight and our first dedicated science mission. Congratulations to everyone on board, our very own spaceship Unity who returned to space today. We saw beautiful flying from our EVE crew, Jamil and Kelly, and brilliant work by our chase pilot, Dan Alex, all of whom are still in the air right now. Great job to you all.